What is up guys? It's Paul from The School Zone and today I'm going to take a quick pause from my longer walkthrough videos to give you a few shorter followed for easter eggs, tips and tricks, and glitch videos this week. I haven't done those in a while and I've got a bunch of them on the back burner so stay tuned for more ahead and then we'll get back to the longer walkthroughs of the many games I'm juggling right now. Today, I'm gonna show you how to enter the void in Fallout 4. That's what I'm calling it at least. It's a fun glitch video, or a flitch as we like to call it on the school zone, and possibly even an Easter egg. I'll explain my theory on that later. But it's not an intentional new area in Fallout 4, so I just wanna make that clear and get that disclaimer out of the way for, you know, those clickbait Nazis in the comments section. This is just something fun you can check out on your own in Fallout 4, and there's some neat tricks associated with it I'll show you if you stick around later in the video. Now, the idea for this actually came from a viewer tip. It was from many months ago actually and it's been floating around in the back of my head to do a video on it so I apologize for not being able to find the viewer's name and shout him out but thanks to that viewer it worked and it was well worth making a fun little video about. Okay let's get to it. We are here in Diamond City. Right above the Colonial Tap House is a location called the Cook Residence. Henry Cook runs the Tap House and there's a quest associated with him so you've probably run into him before. But from what I can tell, he never leaves the bar, so you won't encounter him inside the residence. You will need to pick the lock to get in though, but once you do, just sneak inside like I'm about to do and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we are inside the Cook residence and I'm just gonna make a beeline where I don't even need to sneak because there's not gonna be anybody home. And I'll just make a beeline right to where you wanna go. Okay, so it is up the first set of stairs, up the second set of stairs. This is his little bedroom nook, I suppose. But at the top of these stairs, against this wall right here, you can walk right through into the void. All right, so let's do it. <laughs> Look at that. That is not the standby screen. That is the void. All right. And if you look, I, I'm actually on this little platform here. It's interesting because the void itself doesn't even move. But you can uh, you can look around, you can look back. There's Kate, she's like, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Pretty freaking cool, huh? <laughs> it's definitely bizarre, just bizarre. All right, my friends, that's the super quick lowdown of how to experience the void for yourself. I do have some more fun little tricks to show you here, but now is the chance for the people who don't like longer videos to click away. You know, the trolls, the cynics, the people with short attention spans, and the ones who complain about YouTubers making an extra dollar for all their hard work. So there you go, fair warning, click away, click away now. <laughs> Okay, for those who like getting all the details in the video and want to see some more fun things you can do at this location, there are three more things for you. First, we'll take a look at all the valuable stuff you can loot from this place, because this is probably one of the best locations in all of Diamond City for grabbing great stuff early in the game. I wish I'd known about it when I first came to Diamond City, but you know, I may do another playthrough one of these days, or even for later in the game, still some good stuff. And then next, I'm going to show you some neat tricks you can do back out in the void involving a fat man and making it rain money. And then I'll explain my theory on why this might actually be an Easter egg. We'll see. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is re-enter. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab all this loot. Might as well sneak just for the uh, immersion of it, all right? But there's a bunch of stuff. Psycho, Jet. Anything not nailed down is fair game. Right on, Kate. More psycho, bunch of good chems and stuff. Bottle caps, buff out. Yeah, it would have been nice to get my hands on all this stuff very early in the game. Let's see, anything up here? Nope. And then downstairs, there's a couple of Nuka Quantums. This stuff would have been good for selling. There's another Nuka Quantum. More bobby pins. Yeah. For a basic location that you can access within the first few levels of the game, this is pretty much of a treasure trove, you know? If not using the stuff for yourself, at least selling it.
Okay, I think that's the extent of it. Now, there are some other walls that you can semi-glitch through. Yeah, like there, but they just, they don't give you the full access to the void like you can from uh, up at the top of these stairs. Plus, it's so weird, you know? It's kind of like uh, the Grand Chester Mystery Mansion video I did for Halloween. You know, the little girl, Lucy, she just walked up and then walked out into the void. <laughs> So maybe she's out there somewhere. I don't mind hoofing it as long as there's some excitement at the end of the road. Oh, there's going to be some excitement. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on my light and see what that does. Not really anything much. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take out my fat man. Pull that out. Oh, it's auto saving. Okay, and we're going to see what happens when we shoot something out into the void. I can't even aim right. So I'm going to shoot it straight out there. I don't even know where it went. Isn't that so weird? Okay. Where does it go? Where does it go? <laughs> I wonder if it can shoot through walls. I'm gonna quick save in case I die here. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens when we shoot through the wall. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. Okay, interesting. It loaded me back out in the void. Okay. What the heck is that thing out there? I'm going to put my weapon away. That is so weird. It looks like, uh, it looks like one of those um, robot repair kits or something. That is just, that is so weird. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is what happens when you jump off. All right, so here we go. We're going to leap into the void. And you reappear right here at the front door. All right, so check this out. Funny stuff. Okay, let me go back to a... <laughs> hey, now. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Yeah, if I look back upwards and fall off. Wow, that one takes a while. It, I'm, I'm still falling. All right, in a moment, I'm going to reappear in front of the door. Yep, there we go. There's the door. Okay, so I'm going to reload from the last quick save so we can get rid of that annoying uh, uh, robot repair kit. And then I'll show you a couple more little tricks. If you want to stick around, you guys are always welcome to click away at this point, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. This time, instead of a robot repair kit, it's a vault boy. <laughs> that is so weird. Just weirdness. Okay. See, this is what I was talking about when I said a fun glitch. All right, just too weird. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload again from when I just entered the resident so we can get rid of this and I can show you something else I wanna show you. Oh my god. It didn't... <laughs> that's just too weird. Okay, it didn't want to let me reload from the entrance. Alright, I'm going to have to reload from outside the entrance. I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Alright, good. I uh, quick saved right outside too, so we can uh, try it again if anything else weird happens. I'll re-loot all that stuff later. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you guys... This is, 
This is what it looks like third person going through the wall. <laughs> and crouching. <laughs> That'll make a good thumbnail right there. Okay, so uh, here's, check this out, all right? Next thing I'm gonna do, just cause it was uh, Halloween, a few, uh, well first let me show you what happens when you drop things, all right? So I'm gonna drop a bunch of money, all right? This will be worth the effect, hang out. <laughs> Okay, so I'll start off with that so you can see what it's going to do. You see that? <laughs> it just keeps falling down and then... Oh, that's so weird. It's like the void goes down and then it's like an endless loop, you know? Alright, so now I'm going to drop some more. I'll... uh time lapse this so you guys won't get bored but I am going to drop a whole bunch of money in different places and we'll make it rain money all right Check it out. <laughs> I can even pick it back up from out of the air. It's raining money. <laughs> Look at that. It's raining money. That is so funny. Okay. So the next thing I'll do is I'll drop a bunch of uh, plastic pumpkins. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it looks like some kind of Halloween fiasco. Turn the light so you can see him a little better. <laughs> too funny, too funny. This is one of the weirder glitches I've ever seen. If you guys know of any glitches that are weirder than this, then definitely leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll make a video about it. Okay, so we'll leave all that stuff falling through infinity and uh, we are gonna jump over here and I'll show you this last little bit here. Oop, I fell. Okay, no problem at all. That's the cool thing is that it lands you back at the front door. <laughs> that stuff is still falling. Okay, so I'm gonna jump and then I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna walk along here. See, check this out. There's a little patio there and there. You know, I can walk over here through, oh, I don't even think I, did I loot that? We'll get that later. Okay, uh, yeah, there's just an invisible wall here. Can't even reach the bed. But I can do things like walk way out here. Fall onto this, oop, I fell through, darn. Yeah, and you can jump through into some of the rooms. That's why I was sort of trying to balance on the uh, on the beams. Oh, darn, darn, darn. What's mine is yours, lover. I'll, I'll cut out some of this stuff. All right. So here is the uh, 
here's the front door, and I'm not sure what happens, actually, if you look at this. I'm not sure what happens, actually, if you try to open the door from the other side, whether it goes out to Diamond City or back into the house, but let's find out. It does go back out to Diamond City. That is so weird. <laughs> I entered from the void and went in the opposite direction. That's cool. Okay, so <laughs> let's these pumpkins and money fallen. That's trick or treat. <laughs> so this is why I think this might be an Easter egg because I mean, look at this. There is an actual patio path out here, you know? There's not anything like that over there, over there, over there, but there is something. It looks like it may have been either put here on purpose or it was put here because they were gonna add on to the residence and just never got around to completing it. But the reason why this is so weird to me and why I think it might be an Easter egg is because I've never seen a glitch through that had the semi standby screen. I've showed you guys some areas in some of my other videos where you can glitch through and it doesn't look like this. You know, for example, the uh, the video where I showed you how to get underneath Diamond City, uh, that was definitely a glitch, but it had texture to it. This doesn't. That is what makes this so incredibly weird. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Anyway, that is my theory. Who knows, it is probably still a glitch and this is just what it looks like when uh, when you glitch through to an interior space instead of an exterior space. But anyway, we'll just uh, jump onto the ceiling fan here and ride on it. <laughs> Too funny. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys had fun with this video. If you had fun with this video and you want me to make more of these kind of videos, then definitely show that like button some love and share the video around. And to check out more of these type of videos when I make them, then you definitely want to hit that subscribe button. Look at him bouncing back and forth there. And make sure you turn those notifications on so you get notified when these videos drop or just subscribe to my Twitter account and it'll let you know there. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in a few days for another fun video like this one. All right, peace out.